Oh, Pete, look at this. Just a, another beautiful rotten day. It's a glass off, isn't it? Mate, I can't wait to get out on the water today after yesterday's performance with the crayfish. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, get used to that, that defeating thing. I'm pretty good at catching these things. What's <laughs> happening today? Well, I know we've got a little bit of sand whiting to catch out this way yeah. and, a, and a little bit of uh, squid that way. That's the best thing about rottenness is there's so much food between here and Fremantle. Yeah, it's good. It's like a big marine food bowl, isn't it? <laughs> and I can't wait to cook it. There's our boat. Let's go. Cool. Today, Scott from Fury Custom Boats is taking us out on his Fury 282 HTC Centre Console. This is such a great boat to get out on the water with your family or with a few mates to go fishing. Now we're a bit closer to home, Pete. The reason being is our wonderful chauffeur, Scotty, has told us that what happens here, where the mouth of the river is, right here in Frio, is all the prawns that come down on a high tide get flushed through and when they pass any of the punters trying to catch them, the squid sit here and they grab what's left. So we're in good hands and there's a weedy bottom. Squid, we're catching squid. I can't wait. I reckon I'm going to get the bigger one or the first one. That's has to be one of the two. <laughs> mate, I, don't, I think I'm going to catch it, the big one, but I hope you'll cook it actually because I'm not much of a chef. I, I, mate, I'll, I'll do a dream run with squid. So come on, let's get into it. Oh mate, looking forward to Cheers. this. Cheers. I'll have the big lure. Well, Dan, I got one. Hey, what's uh, going? We're ready to go. Mate, what's going on here? I haven't even got a bite. That's quick. Mate, yeah. well, I'm onto it. So, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to cook this up. We might do some rings in a little bit of in a bit of panko crumb or on the barbecue. We'll work out as we get a few more, you know. Yeah. Yeah, done. Sounds good to me. I'm hungry now. Lucky for the squid, today just isn't my day. I saw you throwing a number of squid in the ice box there. What's the score? Ten one. You're kidding, mate. Ten one. I promise you. Well, do I get ten or one? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to give. You me. haven't even got any squid ink on you, oh, so I don't know what no. happened there. Well, I like to stay clean. Hey, um, I have a confession. What? I didn't actually get one. <laughs> no, no, because th you thought I got one, but it got off. I did swam. Well, I'm terrible. <laughs> can't help sore losers. I think we're off to whiting, so hopefully that's going to be more your game. Oh, fish. I can do fish. I'm okay. Fish. Well, I'm the fish king. Well, we're on to that then. Mate, I'm so glad you're cooking these things too. <laughs> Catching and cooking. This is an easy day, don't we? Mm, sit back and relax. <laughs> okay, no thanks to me, we've now got a great catch of squid. So, it's time to fire up the outboards of the Fury and head off to one of Scott's favourite fishing spots to catch some whiting. Oh, got one. Oh, you. Jeez. How are you doing this? I love sand whiting, a little bit of breadcrumbs. Oh, here we go. Conditions are perfect, and the fish are on the bite. Finally, my luck has changed. It's a whiting, Pete. Look at that. Nice one, mate. How will that go with all the squid? <laughs> that we can have a fisherman's basket. <laughs> a very small one so far. Let's get some more. Fisherman's basket, here we come. We ended up with a big catch of whiting, so we're heading back to Thompson Bay to cook up our fisherman's basket. A day on the water always builds an appetite. And Pete was straight into making a marinade of lemon, chilli, garlic, parsley and olive oil for the squid. To keep it easy, Pete's dipped the whiting in flour, then thrown them straight onto the barbie. I, I've been busy, you know, I, uh, I cleaned all the, the ink out of the squid, uh, cut the squid up into little tentacles or rings, you know, gave it a good wash. Uh, I cleaned the whiting, so, you know, just had to gut them and, and then floured them. And we're going to season them with some nice salt and pepper. Um, this barbie is awesome. Yeah. You can just see it's cooking unbelievable. It so is. we get a little bit of salt and pepper on the top of those whitings. Um, and then, as you can see, I've also got the this already done. Oh, so beautiful. that calamari looks magnificent. So you're going to use the, the heads as well? Like yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people sort of use them as bait, but I reckon, you know, that's a, a, a Greek's uh, delicacy there. I can tell you right there. So we're going to throw them straight on. Do you want to get a bit of that oil there, buddy? This stuff? Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Now, this is that fresh. You know, you, you, you just got to be careful. Sometimes when things are too fresh, 
you find that uh, uh, they sort of tighten up a little bit. So once you cook it, make sure you, you let it rest, you know. Now the, the secret with all fish and, and any type of seafood is to, to not overcook it. Leave it a little bit less. So leave it a little bit medium rare, let it cook all the way through, you know. Mm. Uh, it's almost ready because that opaqueness will start to go out of it. So you don't want to get too much colour on it. All right. You can see it just starts to go a little bit white. Yep. And the tentacles will probably need a little bit longer than the rings, you know. So once we're ready to go, we'll uh, we'll pull the rings off and then leave the tentacles for an extra a minute or so, you know. How those fish? Oh, uh, they look almost perfect. Mm. They usually take around uh, three minutes, so each side. The beautiful part about you know this squid and and the whiting is that they're all sustainable. We're going to just get that and spoon that over the top. Well, pour it over the top of that lovely squid. Mm. There you go, mate. I found you one. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's about time. It's a little bit warm. Oh, mine's cold. <laughs> Always you look after yourself, I tell you. <laughs> you know, we've had a fantastic day out here at Rottnest. Mm, yeah. You know, uh, we've caught some fantastic sand whiting, a beautiful bit of calamari. It's been hard work. Uh, for you, you or me? Yes, you are. Done. <laughs> hey, thanks for everything, mate. mate. It's just looking fantastic. Absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to get stuck into this and finishing off this. What's left to do? Eat. Let's do that. Thanks to Scott, our skipper, we have had a great day out on the water. The Fury boat has proven to be a great boat for fishing and entertaining. It really is the perfect all-round boat. Soon to be released is the 282 Dual Console. The official release will be at the Mandra Boat Show in 2015. Fury boats are renowned for their exceptional quality and performance in the water. All boats are handcrafted and built to the owner's specifications. Choose from the Fury 282 Centre Console, Dual Console or Sports Cap. If you'd like to find out more about Fury boats, jump on their website or give Scott a call.